Community Foundation, what it stands for in the award, and then we get to give all your goodies that you get. So, the Daisy, Daisy Foundation was formed by the family of Patrick Barnes, who died at the age of 33 from complications of idiopathic thrombocytopenia proper, ITP. Daisy stands for Disease Attacking the Immune System, and that foundation's goals are this. To fund research to improve and ultimately cure ITP and related illnesses, to assist and inform people with ITP, to encourage bone marrow and blood drives, since the treatment of ITP can require massive amounts of these. But the program that is nearest and dearest to them is this. For the eight weeks that Pat was sick, his family saw for the first time the kind of work that nurses do and the kind of people that they are. And they were awestruck. The scale and compassion they experienced firsthand seemed to them truly amazing. They came to believe that nurses are the unsung heroes of our society, and they decided to try to find a way to say thanks for what you do. And this is how they even list again. You should know that this recognition is actually an honor from your peers and management. They are the ones who know what you do every day. It's important that we know that our nurses and their work is highly valued, and the DAISY Awards provide us a way to recognize them. Nominations for DAISY are submitted online, the Get Well Network, and on the internet. A special committee votes on the blinded nominations, monthly, and a winner is chosen. So we're going to have you read the nomination there, Marion. Well, it's my privilege to work with Kim Call here at the Star North Program, so I'll just read through the nomination that I placed in. Ms. McCall works with the Star North Program, which is a youth day treatment program that provides treatment for teens who have significant behavioral and emotional issues. She is the milieu manager of the program and provides an excellent role model for all staff on how to interface with teens who are struggling not only with the developmental tasks of adolescence, but also with mental illness, substance abuse, trauma, and chaotic family situations. She is calm and patient in the face of impulsive aggression, elopement, and inappropriate language, and other behaviors and situations that can be more than challenging. She assists other staff in processing interactions with the patients and supports them in providing consistency and therapeutic responses. She provides a nice balance between structure and limits and nurturing. The MDs that work with her consistently describe Ms. McCall as very easy to relate to and work with. She makes sure that good catches, occurrence reports, are done on a regular basis in order to assist all of us in providing opportunities to improve our processes in order to provide the highest quality of care to the Star North teens and their caregivers. When she was out for two days recently, the teens were very worried and concerned about her not being at the program. Truly, this is the highest form of a compliment for patients who have so many of their own issues and concerns to focus on. Ms. McCall truly represents what MUSC Excellence is all about, a commitment to the highest quality of patient care all the time, no matter how difficult the situation. <coughs>
reaching around the world to save the lives of these gifted artists. Artists, in turn, are creating these very sensitive depictions of the unique relationship nurses have with their patients. And don't let that out of your sight. So then you get the great banner that's over here. You get to hang that here and hang it for a month. Um, we hope you'll take one of the pictures from today in your nomination, put those in the little two clear areas. And then the best part um, is you get a jar of Cinnabon, Cinnamon. You also get a coupon in case you're around the Cinnabon for two dozen free Cinnamon rolls from Cinnabon. But we don't have a Cinnamon Bond shop here. So actually, I'm sorry, now it's um, Saffron's is now our bakery. And so they donated you about a dozen and a half cinnamon rolls that look oh, delicious. Wow. Yes, for you and your team to share. And um, I'm going to tell you a little about the Cinnabon and why they are at the Daisy sponsor. Since every nurse who receives a Daisy Award reminds us that it's his or her entire team is very deserving of recognition, and that it takes that team of effort to provide great patient care, all the nurses and the staff and the recipients unit are treated to Cinnabon. The reason? When we bought a cinnamon bun to Patrick to eat when he was in the hospital, he requested one the next day for everyone. So whenever you are enjoying a cinnamon roll or that smell, remember that it's truly a wonderful nurses and daisy winners as, you're, as you are. And then um, the other thing we've got is Kleenex. <laughs> because a lot of times, unfortunately, patients get a little tearful. Um, and so do nurses, you can get a pack of Kleenex. This is just some brochures about the daisy and what it is. Um, Eda Pita has given us some coupons so you can take your family or friends out to Eda Pita. And then something that's really exciting to me is um, Marilyn is now going out with the Nurse Alliance chair and the chair elect. So you'll go out with Andrea in July and the new chair elect to go out to lunch over at Wycliffe House. So it's set up on July 29th if you can try to come at 1130. I want to make oh, well then we'll have to come um, like in October. We'll get you okay. with the other crew. Great. Um, Thank great. You. And then you've got a great band. From yeah. your staff. From the kids. kids. Oh, the kids. Oh, okay, kids. the kids. Oh. Really the kids yeah. made that for you. That's so sweet. Mm -hmm. And then the, the, the staff purchased you. Oh. Oh.